Let's talk about select football. Is this the best select ever? It feels like it's got the most hype for sure. Anybody want to take this one? I know Sierra hasn't quite broke. Well, you, you've seen some first off the line. <clears throat> yeah, I did a couple of first off the line over so the weekends. What do you think? Is, does this have the possibility of being the best select ever? I mean, from a just purely uh, prospecting perspective, this has got to be probably the best select from the fact that you got your obviously your 2021 20, five quarterbacks that you're chasing, maybe more than five quarterbacks and some good receivers as well. Um, and then you also get the live, like I know you guys are gonna bring this up, but you get the live of the new draft guys. When you combine those two two elements, it's got to be the best from a pr- prospecting um, perspective. But I also know, and the fact that this is the last 2021 release is coming at right at the height of football about to start. Yeah, it's great timing. Right? It's gr- excellent timing. But from a, a like a numbers point of view, this won't be the best select because there's other years of select where the cards have a better rarity. Right. And I think you got to kind of do a uh, buyer seller beware if you're pulling some of these silvers. A lot of them. Yeah, there's a lot, lot of, of them. them. And keep in mind retail's coming out. So this is what two or three and, years and, and, of retail now? Second year. So that's that's Second another, year. That's, that's right. The, that's, yeah. a, that's the, another element that made why the print runs have uh, diluted this product in a way. But again, because you got two quarterback years or, te- or rookie years are te- technically chasing not necessarily quarterbacks with 2022 right um, although those are the guys that may- people mainly want but yeah you it's 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 set up to be one of the best selects ever and you uh, broke some this morning Dan what did you think about it I like it um, <clears throat> I imagine the possibility is if they would have done the XRC's last year live oh imagine that you would have had Burrow and Herbert hype, and then you could have had the five rookie quarterbacks, their first live cards in their uni autographs. It would have uh, it would have been absolutely insane. And if it would have been released at this time last year, going yeah. into pre or in, right in the middle of preseason, um, that would have made twenty twenty the best select release ever. And keep in mind, remember they totally goofed on the uh, black and they gold. They had, yeah. They the, they made ten blacks instead and then, of one, and then and ten, uh, and one, or, gold. And one gold. One gold. So there's, and you could see them. They pop up. They still numbered them one on one, but they did like different die cut photo variations. Yep. Um, yeah, and and they and that was that was something that's a little funky because they did the die cut variations and. None of the XRCs have ever been die cuts. No, but they had to figure out. And to and if you know any, I mean, die cuts generally don't grade as well, and yep. they also don't sell as well. So, card regular, man. Card regular is uh, is key. Uh, one drawback is what you guys were talking about. Uh, the different. I feel like there's just so many silvers, and with the retail skews, select went from like. A mid 40. high end tier product to mm-hmm. like a mid tier product with a price point that is hovering around high end. Um, yeah, and honestly, like is a lot. Sixteen hundred dollars a box, not high end. I, mean, I guess it's got to be high end, right? I said, I said the price point is high end. High price point, yeah. But yeah. I'm like, this product for years and years and years and years was a slightly higher than mid tier. Yeah, it was like not high <clears> end, but high mid yeah i think what if anything if last year showed us because um i I thought you were going to mention the parallels right that's why i said 40 so uh prior to last year there was maybe 30 to 40 parallels in a in a select run that you could get and then because of retail and all these other SKUs and just printing more last year the it jumped to like 150 parallels or something like that something insane right but however with that said Select showed itself as one of the strongest products every single year, and specifically last year. Because even with that said, people were still buying it up. Even the retail stuff is one of still the better performing retail products that you can get yeah. right now. It 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 didn't it didn't hold its value like everything was high last year, right? So everything has come down. But select retail is even still like higher than most other retail SKUs that you can buy of other products like Prism or Optic or whatever, etc. Select is still the most popular. Uh, football product that there is yeah and i and i was gonna say that now that we've had we have select baseball we have select football it's de- we have select basketball it's a crossover brand right um 
I personally think of Select as a football brand. Yep. Uh, more so than any other category. Definitely don't think of it as baseball. Um, I would say second would probably be a basketball release, but I think you think of Select as a brand and you first jump to football. I agree. And it has, you know, has a little bit of everything. It has the patch autos. It has the jumbo patches. It has the short prints. It's got the case hits. It's got die cuts. It's got, you know, SSSPs. I mean, I guess the only thing that maybe Prism has over it is the mangas, the color blasts that are a little even more rare. There was one that we pulled today, right? That was like only one that we got in the case. Yeah, um, like fire starter. No, it was like fire or something. Fire starter, fire. fire. It looked like a 2012 design almost. Yeah. And it was number to 10. I don't know if they're all number to 10, but it was, was it uh, a gold? Na- Najee Harris. Yeah. Nice. It, you know what it actually looked like? I think in. It was hard to tell. I think cool. in 13 baseball, select baseball, they had like the Enfuego. Yes, set set. that's what it kind of looked like. And it, and it looked like that. Uh, Cody, what are your thoughts on select? In general, I'm always like a big select fan. Like just the design looks great. Um, yeah, just having the XRCs really just takes it to a whole nother level this yeah. year um <clears throat> and i think it also kind of like uh is an interesting test to see how the hobby is going to react to like who are we going to pick i mean it's clearly kenny pickett but i'm also curious like how like who the next guy is going to be well I, me and I, dan were looking at malik willis i was gonna say it was insane it kind of feels like prices. it kind of feels like malik willis is the way a lot of collectors are leaning towards is like who is the number two in this and the fact that I think the situation in Tennessee compared to other places is probably the best. A team that could potentially be really good again this year with a quarterback situation where Tannehill is probably on the way out no matter what happens this year. Surprise so, is still there, yeah. Yeah, this is I think he's I think he's probably gonna come out as the number two guy. And I, I think the longer might be the better of the two. I think frankly. the third guy, uh keep a lookout for uh Ritter from yep. Atlanta as well. I mean they have Mariota, but Desmond Ritter's not far far behind there. He may mm-hmm. actually be, of those three we talked about, he may be the one who actually gets the most playing time this Should year. Should be. Yeah, he might be co- totally under the radar. But, yeah, it is <clears> a great <throat> thing to mention that XRCs are live in the product. So, uh, on par from other years, we opened one case uh, this morning, and we got three of them, and one was autoed, and it was the Malik Willis tie-dye auto. And Wait, then, the auto was live. Yeah. yeah. And the regular XRC. Are you serious? Yeah. yeah. With him in a pro uniform. Yeah, it's crazy. It's right there. It's crazy, oh, man. Oh, crazy! Interesting. It almost it almost makes you like um, you know because we always talk about how this year's draft is a little bit weaker than previous years. It almost it's almost like damn, we finally got live XRCs, but it's not the strongest of draft I classes. Know, we finally, we finally got live XRCs, but it's 2013. <laughs> 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 but it makes it's not, sense. Not that bad. <laughs> I mean, it makes sense. I don't even want to know how much money Panini saved by doing this, right? Because you think about all of those cards, three per case, that were redemptions that essentially had to be mailed out all individually. Yeah, right? so yeah. Think about all, like, 2 $3 at least in postage for every single one of those cards that had to be mailed out. And this is the byproduct of the fact that everything's been pushed back because of the penny. Yes. So, like, the, weird, the reason we're getting live XRCs is because this is coming out so freaking late that they were able to get these kids at the photo shoot with their pictures Signing them at the photo shoot and then get it in a product. It's in a time genius. To- it's a it's a genius move. I, I and love I think it. this. I is, love it. I, I love it too. And I think this is something that, that I mean, it makes sense financially for them. It makes sense for collectors. I think this is something that sticks going forward. That select does become the last product of the year, and it heads right into. I mean, it's perfect. It heads right into the next season. Yeah, and so just you get that. Cr- yeah. You get both. Yeah, and just like saying, because you know, usually that first chance at like a rookie card of these guys is in, you know, a much lower end product, and the fact that it's it's select football that we're getting the first pro uniform rookie cards of these that, guys really does like to, to me. It just it, it, it's really really exciting. Well, huh? the the only thing you can get right now would be legacy, right? And Chronicles draft and, yeah, and, and mosaic, mosaic draft, and the next one where you get a uh, actual on card is like the pen pals from Elite, which is I think it's coming out in like a month or two, but. Now I'm, I'm now that I know that I didn't know that I thought it was just base cards. So now that I know that there's actually autos of these guys that people want from this next draft class, that makes sense why the box prices are like a little bit higher than they were previous years. And like I get it now. Like that adds value. Like to get a Malik Willis on card or a Kenny Pickett or a Matt Carroll or whoever these- adds value and saves Panini money. Yeah. 
Yeah, it's a win-win all the way around. I mean, the only thing that, and then we, we'll have to see if like this, we don't know yet, but this year's rookie class heading into next year's rookie class, because you're going to have what, Bryce, was it Bryce Young? There's, there's a hype Bryce class Young next will be year. in the Bryce, next year's rookie class. Potentially, yeah, Bryce Young, who will be, I mean, way more highly touted than any of the guys yeah. right. in so, this year's class, at least uh, qb people are, There's going to be lower-end teams that are uh, not playing as well, trying to get that kid. <laughs> But this could be an opportunity where I don't want to make more XRCs, but there could be like one more set of XRCs, right? I mean, like maybe if it's a year that's not performing well, maybe Prism does some XRCs. No, no, just keep it, man. <laughs> just don't, 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 no. It's something. It the same. It, it, it's something that makes this select stand out it, from the it rest. It does. You, know? I, I, you don't want Prism XRCs. Panini XRC, just the whole set of redemptions. The whole, yeah. <laughs> Set of redemptions. Because the cards aren't made yet. They're waiting for the draft to happen. <laughs>